Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Eaton Grundig Executive Traveler 3. All snazzy, yeah. It's an AM, FM stereo with RDS, shortwave, and longwave portable radio. I purchased this radio for a total of $49 on Amazon. It was on a special price, uh, so I thought, you know what, under 50 bucks. I'll pick it up. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I have the original uh, Traveler 3 that was donated by Peter Atkinson. Thank you again, sir. And I figured, hey, why not give this one a try? I know they're sim similar. Didn't know if it had updated anything. So we thought, try it out, review it. So here it is. Executive Traveler. So let's look at the box. Picture of the radio. Get some detail there. Side of the box, we got some little icons. You can read them there if you want. RDS, digital tuning, world time settings, which is pretty cool. Headphone, automatic tuning storage, alarm clock. This side here has our frequencies. You guys can pause and read those there. Shortwave 2.3 to 26.1, nice. And what it comes with, and then on the back here, there will be some more bullet points. Things that stand out, FM with RDS, ATS function, 500 memory stations, uh, sleep timer. Let's see, what else would I be looking for? Snooze, I don't know about that. I don't really use my radio for an alarm clock, but if you're a traveler, you might. You can wake up to a radio or a buzzer, which is kind of handy. So there we are, okay. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. Okay, so first things first, you get a manual to the side. The radio is in a tray. This is how it came, there was no plastic or anything. Box is empty. So one thing you'll notice on your radio, uh, depending on how they shipped it, if they were nice and easy with your package, you'll be okay. But this radio not being in plastic, the sides of it actually is silver paint here, rubs off on the cardboard as it moves around inside this box. So the vibration of travel causes your paint to come off your radio before you even get it. So you can see here, I got a little spot where the paint rubbed off. It's kind of annoying uh, to have on a brand new radio that you just pay 50 bucks for. You know, I'd rather be the one to do that, but there's something to watch for if you're buying this radio. So I'm going to set it aside, and let's look at the manual here first. Let's get this box here. All right, so Traveler 3. It's pretty clear and concise. Everything you need to know is in here. I just wanted to kind of go over some of the uh, tables they got. So the first table is the speed at which it tunes. If you look there, it says FM, long wave, medium wave, short wave. There's a slow step mode where it goes really fine tuning. What is that, 10 kilohertz stepping on FM? That's amazing. You got 1 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, and 1 kilohertz for the rest there. Then when you turn, turn it fast, when it's on slow step, it bumps up a little bit in speed as you tune. Then you have fast step, which is more of a traditional speed tuning. And then when you go really fast with the tuning knob, it really moves through the band. But you really, I noticed you really got to turn that tuning knob to get that to work, to get that fast speed going. So, But nice little chart there for that. Um, there's more charts here I wanted to show you real quick, and then we'll get to the radio. Um, this is the time setting, I believe. Memories, 500 of them, which is really nice. Uh, we'll go over that. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here is our guide. That's what I want to see. Okay, so FM frequency. You can see there's four different FM frequencies you can choose from. Uh, standard, a couple standard for US. Um, you got 64 to 108. You got 76 to 108. You can turn on and off the long wave band. It's pretty nice. There's your band coverage again. U.S. game, Mexico, and international, you guys get the, the DAB frequencies. Cool. That's what that is, that 175 or 239. Hmm. Cool. All right, so then over here we got more information, pretty basic stuff. And I think that's all I really wanted to show you. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the radio. It comes in this nice little leather cover is pretty much what I'll call it. Um, it kind of gets in the way of the antenna when you're trying to use it on FM, but uh, we'll try our best to work with this case and not take it off. Uh, so here's, it's like a leather, nice leather uh, stitch case, which I like. Open it up there, you can kind of see the dimensions. So let's go ahead and give you the dimensions of the radio itself. It's five and three eighths of an inch across, three and a half inches tall, and a depth of one and three eighths of an inch. So for comparison, let's go ahead and show you some things. We have CC Pocket, always a good comparison. I have the original Eaton. So you get an idea, they're identical. 
just different color. And then we have the Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He's the one with the laser hands. <laughs> I have fun. Um, Iron Man, yeah. So I always like to put that out there for you to kind of see what deck of cards and kind of what you're getting there. All right, cool. So we'll go over features of this radio. Um, you already saw the leather case has a magnet that actually sticks to the speaker grill. I have no idea why they put a <clears throat> spot for the power switch there. I guess just in case it doesn't actuate or turn anything on. Uh, but that's why you have a lock feature here. And inside here, they even made a little dent in the leather for these buttons so they don't actually um, get tripped. I can just touch that screen. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else this radio can do. Left-hand side, we have a headphone port, which sucks. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, the hiss is so bad. Medium level, low level, high level, it's all there. It's just a bad experience. You will not enjoy using headphones with this radio. I will guarantee it. Uh, you will not. Um, DC in 6 volts. Um, and I might have said that about the original Traveler 3 too. It just wasn't good for headphones, but decent for just playing this optional speaker here. Here normal speaker. There's a two-inch speaker behind this grill. It's a metal grill, which is nice. I like that. Eton, little thunderbolt. Uh, Grundig, Executive Traveler 3. We have the LCD screen. You can see we got two times. We got local time, world time, battery level indicator. Timer, that's where your little icons for your alarm would show up. Power button, acts as your sleep function. We also have buttons here. We have a up and down uh, for meter band for the shortwave select. And then if you look, they have secondary functions, 9, 10K stepping, and FM setting, like you saw the different bands for the FM. Uh, over here, we have the AM long wave and FM band select buttons with ATS. Notice that there's no ATS on a short wave. It's unfortunate. Um, here we have RDS on the FM button. Here we have a snooze light button. You can actually control the brightness of the light. So I'm just going to turn it on. And then here we have a frequency and uh, memory mode button and that fast and slow step feature right there. And a little behind the door here, I think you guys have seen this before, but I'll show you again. We have some more stuff. We get the real-time clock. I have it set off one hour just to keep everything correct. Um, I could put it on GMT and just, you know, say it's one hour behind, but we're gonna change our clock soon, so I'll move it back up to GMT. Over here, we have a memory, delete, home world, uh, the time set, and alarm. So if you hit this alarm button, you can wake up to radio, you can wake up to a beep alarm, and it turns it off. If you press and hold, it'll let you set those alarms. Uh, the memory button's nice. Um, you can browse and add memory as it's browsing, which is good. And with your presets, you have 500 total, 200 on shortwave, 100 on AM, 100 on FM, and 100 on longwave. So 500 total memory presets there. There's a way to delete them right there. So pretty basic stuff there, but nice to have. And then, of course, yep, there's a little, little reset button there to reset the computer. Something gets glitchy. In our little hour world map tell you what time it zones and what time it is compared to where you're at awesome okay so close that up right hand side we have a tuning wheel kind of has like an indented jog style same with the volume it's digitally controlled top of the radio nothing here bottom of the radio we got little rubber feet so this will stand without the case it's got to take the case off kind of makes it back heavy i'm going to close this on the back here, you can see that the, how the, this just wraps around, and the case is actually held in place by little snaps and a magnet here. So you got a magnet, and actually there's three magnets, excuse me, it's not snaps. So you have three magnets that hold this in place on the back. Here's our antenna. This antenna extends out 17 inches, and if you look, it has one of those elbows, so it goes around the case and can extend past it. Um, again, I don't, it's difficult to uh, use with this cover, but uh, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna leave the cover on. But you can take the case off to use this properly. Pull that out and open this case up and just slide it over the antenna. So pretty simple to get rid of that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception on this radio. I'm gonna open this back up. So FM reception, this is really good. Um, FM, sen FM sensitivity was very good to excellent, and that means about four and a half star rating out of five. So that's really good. It means it found 83 stations, um, really sensitive radio, which I was really impressed with. The FM selectivity was very good because of that reason. But there were a few good, strong stations that uh, swamped fainter signals next to their frequencies. So there were a few instances where I couldn't hear the neighboring stations, which I knew were there, and certain radios were picking up, but this one couldn't. That's why I didn't get an excellent rating on the 
um, selectivity, but it was close, pretty close. So let's go ahead and we'll do radio totterer. So we'll turn the radio on. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and do the audio check. So we'll just go down, let's see, memory mode. There we go. Run this for a few minutes. Display button with the lock feature. I might have missed that. turn that down yeah I forgot to tell you about the display button display lock feature um, as you saw I was cycling it signal to noise ratio we have a uh, this is our local time 1035 p.m. Central Standard Time we have the world clock 335 UTC um, we have alarm time we have temperature so it's pretty neat to cycle while, while the radio is on it's really handy to have uh, so we're going to go ahead and just show you a little bit with the FM. So we put up my antenna here. Uh, you can do this actually with the case on. So I'm going to do that. Extend that out. And then what we'll do here is we'll show you. We'll go to our uh, other preset and we'll turn it up. Correspondent Paula Reed says there was wide speculation earlier today. Rosenstein was heading to the White House to either resign or be fired. That is significant because Rosenstein oversees the Russia probe. It's an enormous amount of power. I mean, overseeing the special counsel investigation means so that his RDS final approval or any in charges and that are brought, he will also have to decide whether or not to make those eventual findings, that final report. 
so yeah program name program type most importantly and what's unique about what we're going to do here is i'm going to just go to my music station i can't really show it so to get out of the preset mode you just hit this button it'll say tuning mode and now we can tune down and if you notice this let me show you the two little arrows means fast tuning above where it says megahertz um, so you can right now we're on fast you can see how it moves and of course if you hit hold this down it'll go into slow tune and now it tunes in 10 kilohertz stepping like micro stepping so it's a little slow so we're gonna go back to fast it's down to music station where i know we'll have rds information so this is the program name so it looks like it's giving a song and then we'll just uh, you can scroll through rds by hitting this button uh, let's see rt is program uh text here we go star 105.5 your music okay and then let's see here the next one no data um this would be your time date and call sign if it had a station call sign come up and then program type is adult hits so you get that's your four you can cycle so there you are pretty cool so we got that out of the way let's go ahead and explore the shortwave so what we're going to do is i'm going to go to shortwave hitting that button now we're at 2.3 megahertz you can scroll up and down the meter band by hitting these buttons So we'll go to the bottom and we'll start a scan. So you just press and hold which direction you want to go. I'm going to go up, press and hold, and it'll browse up. And if I find something, I can keep this open and I can hit memory. If it stops on a station, then we can go through them. So I just hit the preset there. It's on 13 right now, so we'll just use the top of the presets because I was searching during the day too for stations. We can see how fast it's moving through this shortwave. And you can see the preset number changing there on the top right as I'm adding them with the memory button. Pretty handy to have. Now I'm downstairs with the antenna hooked up to a Texan PL380 wire. And then we'll listen to what we found here. What do you get to 10 megahertz? That was pretty good in the shortwave. I'm pretty impressed with that. This little radio. Pretty impressed with the FM. And to get it for under 50, not a bad bargain. Yeah, Shortwave has 200 presets. That's pretty nice. So you have a lot of room to save stuff, especially if you're traveling. We'll let it run up to 10 megahertz here, or maybe a little past, see if anything comes up. I doubt it will. But we're going to perform some evening uh, scans, and we're going to do some daytime band scans too. So I like to do that with my shortwave radios, just so you can see what they do, uh, typically in my area. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and I enjoy doing them. I do them a lot, uh, with, like I said, all my shortwave radios now. I enjoy it. So let's go ahead, stop it soon here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and hit this button to stop the browse. And now we hit this button to go in memory mode. We're on 23 there. We work our way down. According to the Mid American Health Organization, in 2016 alone, nearly 270,000 people contracted TB 
until the view were satisfied with its organization and with the program that you undertook in the Slovak capital. I believe that this time, too, your acceptation as well as ours will on programs that would take my speech and put it into other languages so it wouldn't I wish it had some uh, bandwidth filters. Time signal it missed, so that's cool. Coming nice and clear. And with the fast speed, so you notice it goes in fives, normal. But if you go really quick, it'll start going in hundreds. See, it just takes a little bit. You really gotta. There we go. So that's how you get through the band fast. You just really gotta move that knob. All right. Go ahead and turn that down. Alrighty, so we explored the shortwave aspect of this radio. Let me just close this up here. And then we're going to show you the ATS function on the AM band. Let me just take my antenna down here. I'm going to close this for a second. This is a pretty snazzy looking leather case. I like that. Flip this aside. Now, the interesting thing about this radio is the AM reception and sensitivity and selectivity. It's pretty good, except it has issues with the circuitry and hopefully we'll be able to recreate that issue I had. So we'll go to AM. Make sure everything is off. Transmitter's off. MP3 port is off. Okay. So we are going to show ATS. So we'll just press and hold the AM button. You can see right there's auto saving. Now, of course, it's going to overwrite any stations you had on your list. So make sure if your memory, if you're doing audio manual memory, don't ever do the ATS. <laughs> At least it's pretty hard to do. You have to actually hold that button down. So it looks like it's going to fill up most of it there. Did you only get 100? Okay, we're going to go tune and see what it found. Preset mode. Fat, gain energy and feel years younger. Try Andro 400, the safe, natural, and affordable way to boost your testosterone. Go to a month. WKZ, Kalamazoo, Michigan. 137 miles, 5,000 watt tower. The problem I was having, and hopefully we can find a station, uh, some of the stations, if they weren't coming in good, they were getting buzzing sound from the internal uh, DSP. And then this cycling of the uh, sampling of the signal-noise ratio was actually making noise, like beep, 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 and it was actually that cycling sound. So I'm thinking there's an issue with the uh, medium wave circuit with this radio. Here's an example, I think. There you go, now you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn the light off. Helps a little bit, but... So 
so it's a very annoying thing. It happens a lot. I mean, uh, I did a daytime band scan and it showed up quite a bit. So it didn't find 650. Let's see. There's that beeping again of that cycling. Tuning. WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. September, next 434 miles. I'm going to scan frequency mode now. I'm just going to go up to some stations. So 740 is CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, which is uh, 460 miles. But there are other automakers that are going to do this as well. It's where you... On yourself 750 WSB yourself. Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. No more stopping and starting. Mid idea or mid sentence. Big headline on WJR. Today. Michael Savage Revolution. Detroit, Michigan, Michigan Radio. 270 miles. New, you know what? Local, let's see. Okay, so that's Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles, WBAP. It sounds like a little cricket, but it's actually that signal noise ratio running. WCCO, Minneapolis, 310 miles. This is a bummer. These are my favorite stations. KOA Denver, 890 miles. But listen to that. So, all right, we'll talk about that in final thoughts. CJBC, Toronto, 460 miles. I mean, this thing has great sensitivity. WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. Probably one of the clearest times I've heard it. Just amazing. Cool. So let's just go up here to 1020, KDKA. So it's KDKA, Pittsburgh, 450 miles. Some Ohio stations, WHO. Oh, this is Iowa, excuse me, Des Moines, Iowa. Here's a WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio. That far off the first base back. Local resource, the wires touched by KFAB, Omaha, Nebraska, 405 miles. KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. Here's Richmond, Virginia, WRVA. 665 miles. Yeah. <laughs> There's 1180. So I'm just going to go up to the top here. This has fast tuning, but it's not kicking in. Come on. Got CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. Okay, we're going to cut it right there. Alrighty, so go ahead and turn this off here. We'll do final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts on the Grundig Executive Traveler 3 edition. Um, yeah, it's cost me under 50 bucks, which is kind of cool. Um, if you were into FM and shortwave only, you didn't care about uh, medium wave, buy it. Go ahead and just run out and get it. It definitely gets a recommendation for those two aspects alone. It does a very good job. Uh, minimal to no interference. Um, if you don't use headphones, don't worry, you know, you're perfect. You get this cool little cover. It does get in the way of the antenna, but if you're using a wire, um, you just extend this out, clip it on here. 
there is no input, you just clip it, and it works fantastic. So you don't need to really take it off if you're based with a wire. If you're not, then you gotta take this, this thing off, and it's not that hard to do. Um, I did forget to mention, it does take four AA batteries, <laughs> similar to the Traveler 3, um, and that is on the back here. Um, the snaps just get in the way to show you. I mean, there's a flip-out stand too. I didn't show you that either, so that little flip-out stand does work. It's just in there pretty tight. Um, and it has a frequency on there, and the batteries, they go in different directions. So I'm just going to leave that shut. That's a little difficult to show you, but that's that. <laughs> forgot to mention the battery compartment. Um, yeah, I get excited about radios. I love them. <laughs> um, but the AM really bummed me out. You heard that sound. Um, I did try to recreate it with this radio during a daytime scan. I did, it did it on one of the stations with this radio, but then none of the other stations did it. So it's definitely a problem with the circuit. It's not shielded properly um, on the medium wave. And I'm, either I have a dud here or um, they're just poor quality control. So if you want an all, you want everything on this radio to work and you want the medium wave also, um, don't buy it. <laughs> it just does not get a recommended buy. If, you're, if you want everything in a complete package that, I mean, it might just be this radio again, but you know, I, I did an Eden satellite and it had a problem with the medium wave not even getting decent reception. So for me to recommend the Eden products, um, I guess get the Traveler 3 in the black if they still make it and give this one a try. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to get a deal on this one, but um, this one does a fantastic job uh, with every with all the bands. So I'm pretty happy with that radio. But this one here, I'm very unhappy with uh, the medium wave. You heard the buzzing. So if you enjoyed the presentation of this video, please give me a like. I like to educate you guys, let you know what's out there, what to watch for. You know, this is under 50 bucks. It's very tempting to buy, I understand. But you're going to run into some issues uh, like mine probably. So I just want to give you a heads up. Um, they don't pack it very well. That's another thing I didn't like about the way they pack this radio, you know, where the paint's rubbing off already. Um, I even got little spots of paint coming off on the front that I didn't do. That was like that when I got it. So, yeah, who knows? But there it is. Um, so, uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, uh, I do a lot of Eden Grundig uh, videos. If you're interested, I will do a nighttime, daytime band scan with this one with the shortwave so you get an idea. Uh, watch for those videos. Um, should be similar to the, the regular Traveler 3 which I've noticed I haven't seen a big difference in sensitivity. So, alrighty, and then three, comment below what you think about this radio. You know it. And then, of course, join me after hours over here at Patreon, where we have a lot of free content, a lot of things for you to do between my videos. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Take care, and goodbye.